Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to today's video. Today we are heading over to Lake Waramog to start out our ride. I'm pretty excited about that because, uh, well, we're riding a new route. Uh, we're actually heading over to this place called Thorncrest Farms and uh, they make their own chocolates. turning out to be a lovely morning um, here at Lake Waramug and uh, it started out pretty foggy uh, when we were when we left the house and as we were driving in uh, the clouds have parted and uh, now we get some blue skies so uh, really nice uh, weather and uh, temperature today. I'm actually all bundled up thinking it was going to be a cooler ride this morning, but it looks as though it's going to be pretty comfortable. So I'm not sure. I might just have actually um, an arm warmer, uh, just play it safe. So to start us off, uh, actually Jason today is going to talk about his recovery from his injuries uh, that has plagued him two years that he's been riding. And so he's gonna talk a little bit about how he's recovered from that injury and also how he's maintain maintained his fitness throughout. this really um, neat protein bar or um, I'm going to call it my energy bar and it's called perfect bar I got it from Costco and it's this soft it comes in three different flavors there's almond butter peanut butter and then dark chocolate chip with peanut butter and they're delicious um, good thing about it is that it does soften up it's not as hard and chewy and also it's got over 300 ca calories, so I don't have to eat a ton of this uh, to get the fuel in. So, oh yeah, and also it's got, I think it's got like over 25 grams of carbs and protein, which is great for, for rides, uh, for longer rides. This isn't even gonna be a long ride. This is going to be about 30 some odd miles with oh, a little over 2000 feet of climbing. So. Yeah, it's not going to be a, a long ride, so um, yeah, we're just going to try to enjoy ourselves out here. Thorncrest is a, a local farm, and they make their own chocolate using milk from their cows. So hopefully, we can actually go in the barn today and check the ladies out. of uh, their chocolates. See how that's like. We climb. We climb. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're at mile 12.7 and uh, I'm guessing that it's halfway and this ride is about 36 miles. So we'll have two more miles to go. We get there. Yeah, it's a lonely calling.
arrived here at Thorncrest Farms and we're gonna go inside and check it out in a minute. Well we just went inside this this barn and there's some huge cows in there. Um, I don't know what they feed these things with some huge cows. <laughs> So the two cattle that you are seeing right now um, that have the longhorns, they're actually female Texas longhorns. And from what I read on the sign there that they are, uh, one is 16, I believe the brown and white one, and the other one is 10 years old. And they are descendants of the first cattle that was brought in by Christopher Columbus. So, wow, that's pretty cool. It was late at night. It was They've been around for a long time, even though <laughs> they're younger than me. So we just got done with our ride, um, about 37 miles, 36, 37 miles, I think, around two and a half hours. Uh, that was a fun ride. Some some new roads, some that we've done before, but we really like the the roads around this area, uh, starting from Lake Warmug and then you know riding around. Um, I think this is Litchfield County, Connecticut. I wanted to show you what kind of chocolates we got. We got two bars, uh, dark chocolates. One is dark chocolate and peanut butter, and then the other one is dark, dark chocolate with roasted almonds. And then we got a couple of truffles. Um, one of them happened to be pumpkin, pumpkin pie flavor. So uh, we are nearing the season of fall, so I definitely uh, am looking forward to trying that. We're gonna head over to, for dinner tonight, we're gonna head over to Jason's parents' house so we'll be able to enjoy those chocolates for dessert. Uh, yeah, and those were great roads. Um, in the future though, I think we definitely should invest on gravel bikes because this area, there are some beautiful paved roads but then it turns into dirt and it's a little harder to ride them on skinny tires. So uh, definitely something that we will invest in the future are gravel bikes. Uh, and if you have any suggestions of what gravel bike to get, let me know in the comment down below. Uh, I am, we're thinking, um, well, I'm thinking of getting, uh, deciding between the Grail or the Grizzle. And I'm leaning towards the Grizzle because we would like to do some bike packing uh, adventure in the future and I think the Grizzle would be perfect for that and at the same time it'd be great on the gravel roads as well um, but you let me know and uh, in the comment section down below and yeah until next time don't forget to enjoy the rides bye bye